Hello and welcome in this video series of Azure Functions. Today we are going to learn how we can create an Azure function using VS Code. In the previous videos, we learned how we can create an Azure function resource using Azure Portal or VS Code. If you are new to the channel, I will put link to that video in the description box. To write your first Azure function code using VS Code, let's open VS Code. So once you have opened that VS Code, here, first of all, we have to add a folder to our workspace. So for this, we will click on this Explorer button. Click on this Open Folder button. From here, we can either choose an existing folder or create a new one. So let's create a new one for now. Rename it to YouTube Demo. And click on select folder once we have selected the folder we click on this azure button icon after clicking on this under workspace we have to click on this create function button so here we have to choose the folder to which our function code will be saved so let's choose this YouTube demo that we have already added to our workspace. Then we have to choose the language in which we are going to write our code. Then comes the .NET runtime stack. So here we have to choose the runtime stack that we have already used to create our Azure function resource on the Azure portal. So that while deploying this Azure function to our actual Azure function resource that we have created on the portal, we can meet all the requirements then we have to choose the trigger from this list so let's go with this http trigger for now so an http trigger is one that is ex uh, executed or fired whenever an http request is raised let's name this trigger get name for now then come with the namespace let's choose default here then we have the access rights we have three types of access rights one is function then is admin and we have anonymous so anonymous is one in which anyone can call our function app or make call to our function apps so we have successfully created our first azure function app using vs code so we have to build this function app there are two ways to build our function app either we can click on this run button and select debug start debugging from here it will first build our function app and then we can debug it or we can go with the terminal and click on this new terminal button and uh, build it using dotnet command dotnet build command so let's go with the run one run one first so click on this start debugging so we have successfully built our function app so let's copy this url fire it into a browser so let's click on this so here the HTT, this HTTP trigger function executed successfully was a name in the query setting or request body for a personalized, personalized response. The response comes from our function app. Let me show you where from this response is coming. So this response is, is coming from this setting response is called setting dot is null or empty name. This HTTP request this HTTP trigger function executed successfully. Please name this or this. Or we have this another response. This one will be used when we pass a name in the query setting or request body. So let me show you how this one will be used. If we pass a name in the query string, let's see. Name equal to code byte. 
So then this response comes hello could why this HTTP trigger function executed successfully. So this is how we build our first Azure function app. So let's go show let me show you the another method. Stop this. We have successfully stopped it. Let's click on terminal, new terminal. Here, let's say dot net space build. It will st it will start building our function app. So build is succeeded. Now let let's click on this run without debugging button. So here we have the URL. Copy it and fire it into a browser. So this is the response coming without passing name. And if we pass the name, the get is entering. This response will come. Let's close this browser. Stop this. So this function app is running on our local. So we have to deploy this function app to the function app resource that we have created on the Azure portal. So there are two ways to deploy this function app to the function app resource. Either we can click on this Azure uh, button and from here we can click on this deploy button after selecting deploy we have we can deploy this function app to the azure portal or we can deploy this code to any of our repositories like devops or github or dfs and then from there we can create a pipeline to deploy our code to the azure function resource on the azure portal so in the next video i will teach you how we can deploy this function app to our function app resource on the Azure portal using VS Code. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks.